After nearly three hours of debate, an amended House Bill 1020 passed the Senate. 12 News' Richard Lake joins us live from the Capitol. Richard, tell us what happened to the bill. Right, well, two amendments were made in the Senate to the bill, and 1020 will now head back to the House as they consider the changes made. Now, the first amendment has to do with the memorandum of understanding between the city of Jackson and the Department of Public Safety over the jurisdiction of Capitol Police. Now, if you remember, the Senate's version of the bill widens the jurisdiction of Capitol Police to the entire city of Jackson, and it now gives the city the option to sign an MOU with that entire jurisdiction situation. Now, an important note here, whether an MOU is in or not, it will not determine the future of jurisdiction of Capitol Police. If the bill is made law, Capitol Police will have current jurisdiction with JPD, MOU or not. And the second amendment removed a section in the bill allocating funds to the district attorney's office for two more assistant DAs. The amendment designates those funds to go to the crime lab instead. Now, the bill's author, Representative Trey Lamar, says he's ready to work with the Senate as the bill will likely head to conference. He also shed some light on how the governor feels about all this developing legislation. We look forward to working with the Senate uh, through the conference process, which I, I do believe the bill will end up in conference. Uh, and hopefully soon, within the next week or two, I'd love to have a final product that we can present to the body. We have met, and, and the governor is uh, like, I think, most everybody here, including Republicans and Democrats, regardless uh, or in spite of what the national news is portraying, uh, are in lockstep that we'd like to see a safer capital city. And we could see movement on who will make up these conferences as soon as this week. The Speaker of the House will pick three conferees from the House, and the Lieutenant Governor will pick three from the Senate. And we'll have more on the changes that were made to this bill and how they could affect you at 6 o'clock. For now, it's from Richard Lake reporting live from the Capitol for 12 News.